the Rainbow Say Smith here, reaching out to talk about a topic that we don't usually like to discuss, pain. I have had my fair share. If you've followed me at all, you know I've had two incurable disease diagnoses, which I overcame. I've had abusive relationships, divorce, betrayal by friends, family issues like most of us, and workplace harassment, and a long list of disappointments, frustrations, and pain. And my book talks about how to overcome any of those obstacles to fire your diagnosis, if you haven't got a copy yet, at my website or Amazon or Barnes & Noble. But I talk about pain has a purpose in our life. Think about back to a kid when the first time you touched a hot stove or did something your parents said don't do and you got hurt and you learned very physically often about that pain. And then that pain is telling you, hey, no, don't do that. Or pain in your back is telling you something is wrong. Go see the chiropractor. So pain does have a purpose in our life. The challenge comes as many of us can get stuck in the why me. We can wonder why so much has happened. Okay, 2020, wish we could reboot it. We can't. It seems like around every corner is something else that we're struggling with that is difficult. I've heard countless stories of people incurring things, breaking, you know, everything just going wrong. We can look at that and let it consume us and defeat us, or we can flip it. And I want to give credit to Joel Osteen. I listened to his sermon over the weekend about pain. And he talks about how God entrusts us with this pain. It isn't the end of our story. It is only the beginning. So like me, I share in my book my pains and my hurts and my frustrations so that you can benefit from it. You can learn my fit life principles to make your life better. Each of us is entrusted with our circumstances. What are we going to do with them? Are we going to become bitter or are we going to become better? Are we going to share what we learn with others? And I personally want to believe right now we are all given great responsibility with the experiences that we're having right now to be better, to learn, to grow through the pain. It really is up to each of us. Some choose to be victims and let it defeat them. I hope you will be one of those people who chooses to be better to be a victor, to conquer, to overcome, so that you can be that torch for somebody else that says, hey, I've been through the fire swamp. I came out the other side. Let me show you the way. Be a light, please. There's enough darkness. There's enough division. There's enough pain and hurt. And yes, I know you have your own hurts and pains. Trust me, I still live with consequences of my medical issues, even though I've overcome them. That doesn't give us ex an excuse to discard others, to be unkind and unloving, or to say things, post things that we would never do in person, nor would we want those done to us. So let's be better. Let's use this pain. We've been entrusted with it uh, tenfold right now. But that just means that's more opportunity for us to use that, to grow from it, learn from it, and pass it on with positivity, kindness, and love. Again, my book, Defy Your Diagnosis, will help you with a lot of tips, strategies, a lot of encouragement, some funny stories, and lots of love to you. Lorraine Bosse-Smith, stay healthy, fit, and connected.